I think we're in for an end-to-end -end game. I think we're in for a lot of goals. And I cannot wait. And I'm not, I was going to say a little prediction. I was going to say which way I think it's going to go. But I'm going to sit on the fence. I just want to see a good game. It's the best dance you can have, Richard. The best dance you can have. If you have just joined us, this is grand final time here in the FGS Masters Cup. Four weeks of FIFA action. It comes to you every single Monday evening. And we have a $25,000 prize pot every single Monday. Four teams of two will meet up to battle out in two semi-finals and a grand final. And these are the two teams that have made it to tonight's grand final. It's been one hell of a journey and one hell of a ride. It will be fanatic from right to left in their traditional black strip. With a red shot from distance there, I believe, of Tex. Trying out uh, Donnarumma from a good 30 yards. When it's time red, it's never going to be trouble in the goalkeeper from that far out. On the flip side, XO Esports will kick from left to right in this game. Both had very different semi-finals, though, didn't they, Richard? No, they certainly did. And I mean, look, it was the early start from Fnatic. It set them up perfectly for the rest of the game. For XL, it took them a little bit longer. They actually lost the first leg, one goal to nil. They came out and won comprehensively in the end. 3-0 in the second leg, a 3-1 aggregate scoreline overall. But this is where they are going to get success. In these spaces out wide, in these spaces in behind, that Fnatic do leave open. I'll tell you what. Interception that was from Marquinhos there. Oh, that would have been one goal to the good for XL Esports. You just look across the board here in terms of. There's nothing. I mean, in general, I'm talking here. The eight players were involved tonight. But look at the top four we've got in action tonight. You've got Gorilla, Tom, Tex Diogo. Obviously, as we know, Tex and Tom, teammates at a national level, former teammates at. The club level as well. Can't forget that Tom once upon a time did play FIFA for Fnatic. He was on loan for a period of time from Hashtag. Well, after that, we heard the rest of the story there of Hashtag selling Tom and Tom being purchased as one of the most expensive FIFA esports transfers to date. Uh, and we talk a lot to pick him up. We talk a lot about uh, Gorilla winning the 2017 FIWC, Brandon, which unbelievable achievement. What people do forget, remember the first event of the year, remember Paris, the one that Tass won. Tom Lees was a top six player in Europe in that event. He finished top six. People forget about that. People think he's just come on the, la the scene in the last couple of years. He's been grinding away for the last five, six years, has Tom. Chance to go full for Fnatic. Brilliant goalkeeper movement there. Look no further for a perfect case study of how you move your goalkeeper in those sort of moments. Pitch perfect from XL defensively. Otherwise, Fnatic might have just taken the lead there. Absolutely. Looking across four players here, Richard, all the different ages that have been active in this FIFA esports scene over the last three to four, five, six years. It's going to be a chess match and a game to remember. Jude Bellingham. Well, there, Rip. He timed it green. Brought a brilliant save out. Still alive. Mbappe times it red. Was looking for the top left corner. Instead, finds two hands of Peter Schmeichel. And that really is a chance squandered there. What a chance. That was thrown away. Fifteen thousand dollars on the line for this one. I mean, this is week one of the FGS Masters Cup. A little bit direct. From Gorilla, Gorilla red icon, Tom Blue, and I would say Texas yellow and Diogo is white as the player indicators if you wanted to watch one particular player and highlight their movement on the pitch really is going to be tested intensively here Mbappe will come four for XL another brilliant save there was no need to time that one Green <laughs> the, the movement though the yeah, goalkeeper movement on, again though. So good. Bad to say, it's going to be the battle defensively, Richard, of who will come out on top. Is they both like to score goals? I mean, Fnatic even more so. And what we've seen tonight, they're nearly, very nearly at double figures in that semi final, winning nine goals to one against Team Footwiz. 
Mbappe, scoop turn. Says see you later, it's Tex now. This is Tex on his own, looking to build up the perfect chance. Mbappe still will try and make his way in and out of about three or four purple shirts there. Ooh, a big that's, win, that's a, can he find yeah. R9? This is Diogo now, he would have the chance in the goal, it's R9, brilliant save, Donnarumma, can he get back up on the rebound? Yes, he can. So, it's so risky when you lose possession high up the pitch right there, but it's a great flick on, end to end. Oh, he was looking for the uh, lateral heel to heel, straight into the finesse shot was Gorilla, sort of his go-to. You'll notice him whenever the ball's out wide, wherever it looks just to get that little bit of space, it'll be a lateral heel to heel straight into a finesse shot. Fnatic building again. This is Tex with R9. Moving and grooving in the box of R9. Still defensively sound. That was a big win back there from Gorilla. He's just got that red icon above his head. 4XL. Look at the space for Lionel Messi. He will run. And will look to cause problems. Rudiger's going to be pulled out from centre back here. He's going to have his work out. This is Tex defended on Tom. They win the ball back well. What an end to end first 45 minutes this has honestly been. We have just tuned in our FGS Masters Cup first final week one. Lionel Messi can finesse it from that far out. He thought about it for a split second. Went to corner, last chance saloon here off the first 45. And what can we see? Maybe someone off the training ground. Played short. Finds Lionel Messi. Arnon might think about it from that far out. He goes for the little hill to into the scoop turn. He's still somehow Tex in possession with R9. Does get dispossessed. And that will do us for the first 45 minutes. A lot to take in there, Richard, of six minutes of real life time. It felt like a lot longer as we pull into the halfway point in this Masters Cup Grand Final. The FGS Masters on the flip side. We've seen the exact same scenario for uh, Marco and Gimodo. Flow all the way over from the other side of the world into the UK. I'm sure they'll be doing the exact same a little bit later this year when that Team of the Season Cup does come around the corner. And look across the ball. We will be seeing 12 more teams compete in these Masters Cups every Monday. 6pm onwards. GMT, get it in your diary. There's a lot of FIFA to see and a lot of storylines to unfold. Here's Fnatic looking to find Cristiano Ronaldo. They do find him. And so does the Italian shortstopper there. Just saw for a split second there the that run of Marquinhos just on the line. The I thought up. as that cross has been floated into the back post, it looked like CR7 was just going to get up and a powerful, di dri driven, direct header passed on Aruma, but he stood up well to it, did the Italian. Oh! They're trying everything, oh, our well, fanatic. Well. Keep in mind that this final will be played over two legs, as always. There's still plenty of time for this one, too. And a winner is Excel. Get too far off the field. It's a very aggressive tackle from Jao Cancelo. Who, no doubt, will be a poignant figure in a lot of these FIFA teams. He's one of those other players that has got so many incredible in-game stats. Lani is a full-back, can certainly even do a job. More of a casual fever player, maybe he's a defensive midfielder. Just need quite a few coins to purchase him. Mbappe. Messi will wait out on that far-hand side. Remember, he's got that left foot that can cause all sorts of problems. Rounds at the back post, heads it across. He loses the aerial battle, believe it or not, to Hakimi. So even at the moment. So, so even. Neither team has wilted, uh, even looked like showing signs of slowing down. Our first goal is going to be a poor and telling point. Messi, Bellingham does well. It's a 
battle in the midfield at the moment. Bellingham on Bellingham, Hullet on Hullet. The teams are literally so in check. This could be a three on two. Massive tackle, Ruben Diaz at the back. And again, it's all perfect so far in this one. There's a reason why they're both in the grand final. I think this is what we call out for that moment of magic. We said about it earlier. Might be a 2v2 or a team game, but there's going to be solo runs, solo efforts. That'd be Gorilla. Now that trademark. Attacking S style of FIFA that he's been renowned for. Ryan Persis is one of the best attacking players he's seen in the FGS of all time. On the flip side, you've got Tex, who has got pretty much every single skill up his sleeve. Paul's been queued for quite some time. Here's XL. Rana can't get it down. Hullet can. CR7 on his own, looking for a cutback. Where's he going to find a man? Has to be patient. Falls bouncing again. It's Ooh. literally bouncing and pinging in the box eventually. There's a moment to breathe. This feels like he has got a new and all over it for the first leg. There is still 15 minutes to play, though. When that ball was bouncing inside the box then, Brandon, I thought it was guaranteed to fall to a, a purple shirt. I'm shocked this is nil-nil. I'm, I'm truly shocked this is still nil-nil. Who is going to crack? Who's defence? He's going to crack first. There's 12 minutes left in this game. What's the run of Mbappe then? R9 also making a run. This could be dangerous. Excel. Numbers and options. Coming up in and around the box now. Corner. Goes for Got a goal kick. kick. We'll see a pause, Richard. We've just 10 minutes to play. That was a pause. It was queued quite some time ago. Maybe even a little bit of tiredness. You know it's going to be a long, a long two legs when you when you're playing against Tex, especially and Diogo to that extent. Every little pause that you have, every little break in play, you think, wow, this is this is intense. I am having to put a lot into this. I am having to concentrate so hard not to be losing. It was sort of like an exasperated look from Tom. A big part on, uh, of, of this, Rich, is that it's the first time as a duo they've been in the competitive tournament with a $15,000 prize pot on the line. This has been their biggest test, so doubt, uh, no doubt, so far this year. The pressure is on. I'll add even more. Into the fire. These Masters Cups. Final four minutes, if you have just tuned in. We promise there should be some goals in this second leg, but you're just looking at two very, very good FIFA duos that have made this such a competitive game that it really is going to lean on one person, one player, just to make a simple mistake. To allow one of these two teams to pull away. Excel dispossessed. Will there be one final chance in this one for Fnatic? And in time of just a minute. Mbappe does no. well to try and chase the ball down. That will do us for the halfway point in this Masters Cup final here in week one. Goals will change the game. And I think whoever scores first could potentially see their name written on the trophy. As we said, this is the first out in four. Many teams that selected as an FGS master team. There were 16 of them selected at the beginning of the season. And with that, we've allowed them to play in the FGS Team of the Year Cup. Unfortunately, that one didn't take place, but nevertheless, they got the fast track ticket through to the Team of the Season Cup. They have been waiting and eager to play on the big stage here. This is what the Masters Cup has allowed them to do. $15,000 on the line. Here comes XL with the first chance in this second leg into Cristiano Ronaldo, who might just be onside. He is. Ronaldo does well. To pull out Marquinhos. He's going to be out of position now. He's the Brazilian fullback. They tried to bundle that ball through. Hullet and Mbappe. All in line. Reversal has to go. Not good enough to get past you. Bellingham and Fnatic. Okay, their turn. 
to try and come forward. Superb again defensively at the back. That has been the story of this game. Defensively, both teams have been so sound. There has not been a mistake in either team's locker so far. Ronaldo. Someone out of play. And 10 minutes in. It's a frantic start. 10 minutes. Even us, I think both very small indication. Sorry, Richard, of how frantic and fast paced this second length to be played with so much on the line. Both sides know the importance of that first goal and that early start. Mbappe finds Messi. He's for Nati now. Messi will whip that one across the box with his weak foot. Back off the player, says the referee. Goes up for a goal kick in the end. You missed the results the team had to get to this stage. It was a 3-1 win for XO Esports after being 1-0 down in the first leg. They won the second leg, three goals to nil. They come forward looking for a chance. Bellingham, really well done. Mbappe! And XL will take first blood in this grand final, but the composure there from Drew Bellingham just to have a simple drag back to lay it into the feet of Mbappe. He was never missing from there. He's an outstanding composure from Gorilla as well. He was the yellow indicator that just took that extra touch. The ball came back to him. Or he could have shot. He could have taken the shot with Drew Bellingham, but he waited. He pulled it back, slid it across to Kylian Mbappe and Tom to fire into an empty net and maybe a little bit of a, an upset here. I was having a quick look at the Twitch chat before the game started and there was a poll running. Fnatic were a heavy favourite with the people at home, but XL are the ones in the lead at the moment. Look at the only factual evidence we have of Fnatic is that they did play against XL. Well, back in that SAF UK FIFA Invitational. 18 teams took place in the Man City won it, believe it or not. Ryan Pissarro, who sits on this very broadcast, won that tournament shells. It was 11 3, did. Excel to Fnatic. That was many moons ago, though. And then we come into today and we see Fnatic win 9 1 against Team Footwiz. We start thinking again. This is a team that relentless going forward. Excel. They've really come out and given them a proper game. Defensively, they've been so sound. They have been the first team to break their luck in this game. Let's look for a second. Ronaldo into Mbappe. Maybe a second goal where Mbappe will fake to go left, fake to go right. Took a bit too long on that one. Now Marquinhos to win it, but not for so long. Messi from distance. How about that one? Time to green. Time to reflection. Little Messi, take a bow, my friends. XL Esports lead by two goals to nil. Beautiful finesse shot from Gorilla with Lionel Messi. Green times over the top of the goalkeeper, sailing over his head into the far left corner. But the wind back from Tom, he lost the ball. He was the player who lost it on the edge of the box, uh, trying to do the shot cancel. He sprinted after it with Drew Bellingham, won the ball back high up the pitch and managed just to fire it into Lionel Messi just before he managed to get pressed. XL Esports in Dreamland, 2 0 up at the moment. Fnatic with it all to do, Rich. Remember, this is the second leg. Mbappe, brilliant thing. It's a good turn ball roll. Where's he going to end up? Bit too much on that occasion. Left. They see a no man's lap. But it's just so quick, isn't it, going forward from XL? We get another sniff of how deadly they could be going forward. Let's see a tackle at the back there from Rudiger. Lead on Messi finesse, it's a popular way of scoring. It's just when you choose to do it, because it can become so predictable. Done often. It wasn't to be the case there. It's, it's just such an important tool, and it's almost a little bit of a get out of jail free card. Like, if you are on the right hand side of the pitch and you don't have much on. Team the Messi just to walk the ball inside and just hit that finesse shot. It was Tom winning the ball back for me.
He won it so high up the pitch. He literally sprinted after the ball. When you're playing Sunday League, when you're younger, you always get told, if you lose the ball, you run after it and you get it back. That's exactly what he did. He changed player, sprinted after the ball, won it back with Jude Bellingham and teed up Gorilla. Fnatic with it all to do. As I said, they've registered nine goals so far. Only conceded one before this match. I know what the back of the net is. Need to find it now. Mbappe went for the cutback. Would have been pretty, but he came off. They're just so regiment, XL. And the way the fan ran out of from distance. They've got time that one. I think that'll do it for half time. No additional time added at all. Sorry, Richard, at the halfway point. It's important. No doubt. It's, it's super important that someone takes that, though, Rich, in that duo. Yes, it's a team game. Yes, you have to defend together. But there are going to be certain intricacies in the game that someone has to take a lead on. And in a winning or losing position like this, someone has got to take a lead on that of tactically, what are we going to change? How are we going to get back in this one? It's the first real test that any of these teams have had in the form of these Masters Cups. Here's that chance now to maybe get a goal back. It wasn't the kind to bounce off the shoulder of Mbappe. And XL with one but two players. Again, they've stopped Fnatic in their tracks. They could be off for a third. Mbappe finds R9, scoop turn, ball roll back to Mbappe for three. No, great save, Schmeichel. Watch Ronaldo at the near post. Just over the bar. It's a difficult one with the defend with, with the corners, isn't it? Because it's it's trying to not make it obvious if you're going to play it to when 90% of the time it is going to be obvious. Cristiano Ronaldo is the first man on that <laughs> sheet. I do think we'll uh, we'll see more sort of creative set pieces though, especially as we approach that team of the season cup, Brandon. Maybe there's a couple of things up the sleeve of a few players. I want to see what Desari and Nightwatch are going to pull out, because if there's anyone to pull out a set piece off the training ground, I feel as though it's those two. They'll be in action. A few weeks time. Remember, three more weeks and three more Masters Cups are on the way. Every Monday, I'll bring you Monday Night FIFA live here. On the Twitch and YouTube channel of EA Sports FIFA, EA FIFA Esports. Bellingham. Can't find his way through, and it's going to get frustrated, but gaps will naturally start to appear now offensively. For XL Esports, here comes R9. Fnatic on the hunt, on the charge. They need two goals, they trail at the moment. This is nice. Ronaldo into Ronaldo, it's Cristiano. Watch that back post, there are options there, options in the box. Little Messi of all time in the world on that left boot will try and angle it. Gives it back to Cristiano Ronaldo. Fakes to go left, fakes to go right, took too much time on the ball in the decision making. Too many have an option to be completely honest. So running race to the back. Ruben Diaz, can he stop Cristiano Ronaldo? That's enough just to delay it. Ronaldo steal, this is Tex. Can't find a cut back. Brilliant save, Donnarumma. What a save from Donnarumma. I don't think he knew much about it. The ball was bobbling in around the box like a pinball machine. But Donnarumma, right place, right time. They're not done yet, though. It's attack, attack, attack from Fnatic, and so it should be. They win a three kick, 34 yards away. 23 minutes left on the clock of this one. Just need to see this game out, do Gorilla and Tom. Well, it's Hakimi off for Ronaldinho. That is not a statement of the intent that these two are going to be implying for the last 20 minutes. I don't know what will be. An attacking change. Pull it. To Bellingham. This is nice. Mbappe into our nine oh, game up. 20 minutes left in this one. And we have got a game on our hands. We 
if there's anybody to clutch up for you. And Aaron Ronaldo is that man. And now, rather that we, we know exactly what Fnatic are going to do, okay? They're going to press, they're going to look for a goal. The question that I have is, how do XL approach this final 20 minutes now? Do you try and keep possession? Do you try and kill off the game and look for that third goal? I think you have to. Because I don't think sitting back and defending up for 15 minutes is going to be very fun. It could be a chance for which they can catch them on the break. The amount of Black Fanatic shirts that have been thrown forward. And it goes, defended well, Hakimi. Only two players, bad for Fnatic. They can attack at pace, they'll be even less than that. Ronaldo, there's R9, there's Mbappe queuing up on the edge of the box too. There's Vinicius Jr. on the far hand side of the pitch. Ronaldo. It's stopped by Ronaldinho, is back as we said. He came off for Hakimi, just to add another attacking option into the midfield. You can see him making that dart and run on the far hand side of the pitch. Oh, that's a bad pass. Good pass from Messi. It's it back though, Bellingham. Ronaldo. Mbappe, Fnatic on the hunt for that second goal for that equaliser, Messi. Is there a build-up? He's there. A twist in his tail. Ooh. What a tackle from Jude Bellingham. He had to be strong. He won the ball. Both teams just giving away possession. You can see how nervy it is down there on the pitch at the moment. One more goal. We'll seal the deal. $15,000 richer they could be. Mbappe cut back into Ronaldo. I think they're happy to take time out of this game. Brilliant feed from Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, that would have been even better feed for if it found the feet of Hullet. Final roll of the dice for Fnatic. Three minutes left on the clock. He's there. An equaliser into this one. In it goes. Ronaldo is there. So is Hakimi, who's been doing defensively so well to stop Ronaldo in his track. Time and time again. As he looks to... So I've latched onto the ball at the back post so many times. It's in the hands of XL Esports to be week one champions here in the FGS Masters Cup. They go long, Ooh. they give possession away, and here we go, Richard. This is going to be, what, a minute of added time at most and one single final roll of the dice for Fnatic. Not only does it give possession away, but it gives a pause, and it... If that ball never goes out, maybe the pause never comes in. Maybe he can never change what you want on the pitch. But with that ball going out, there might be one, there might be two added minutes at max for Fnatic. But they get the opportunity to make the changes. They get the opportunity to go through at the back or narrow or whatever it is. Throw bodies forward in this final attack. As you can see, Tom and Gorilla on your screen right there. They know... They have to defend one attack to become champions of the FGS Masters Cup 1. It's as simple as that. One tackle is worth $15,000. Last chance for Fnatic to send us into extra time. That's the tackle from Marquinhos. And that will conclude it here in week one. Your FGS Masters Cup winners will be Team XL Esports, a newly formed duo, an OG FIFA Esports organization coming back into the scene for the FGS 22 season. And they will be crowned your champions here in week one.